medium. You're, you're kind of notified in my status. Hi, Aiden. for the first recipe, which is, as the title suggests, fish souffle. And this is honestly a lot easier than most people think it is, or make it out to be. I will need the scale though, but for now, a smaller pot. fresh water on it. I was going to use this one for something else, but that's okay. So for this, you want to start with cooking the fish, and you can do it in either salted water, which is what I'm going to do, or if we do have some fish stock cubes, we will do it in that instead. Nope, meat. We have two different fish ones. Where's the date? Oh, this one is out of date. showed my face just then. If I did, oh well. I don't care anymore. Okay, so heat, extraction fan, and a stock cube. This one, we're going to make the bechamel. So let's get the scale into the picture. Move all of this out of the way.
So here we need 50 grams flour. For context, that's that much. And now we need 50 grams butter. I was going to use this one, but we have this one already open, so I'm just going to use that. This is actually kitchen robots, and I don't have anything else, so... Hydration, um... I'm sorry. of butter as well. And why does this have butter in the bottom? And like some people might think, butter is not good lubricant. Do I need to measure anything else? I need to measure the milk. But I can do that with an actual measuring um, cup. I mean, I haven't done this voice in a while, at least not in public. Jeez. Chill. No, no. cube is dissolved, so this is um, frozen fish, obviously. It comes in these little plastic bag things, almost. You just peel it off and into the pot goes. Do wash your hands afterwards though, because obviously they do smell fishy and it's raw fish, even if it's frozen. Always be careful with raw ingredients. Buttery biscuit base. <laughs> All right, he's from the UK, so that's why he says biscuits. Come on. get the measuring jug which is in the drying rack. Hi love, welcome home. I'm glad you could make it. Okay. 
milk 250 I don't need it, the milk anymore. Hi, Cinder. Welcome on in. Glad you could come as well. Let me move you guys closer. too hot. Uh, I still need the eggs for now. This butter can go in the fridge. We have our bowl for the oven part. How are you guys doing? I want that going harder. Because I do need this fish to be boiled. Another spoon. This one, we're currently, what we're doing right now, adding the butter to the flour. This is called a roux. And once we add in milk, it becomes bechamel. If you add stock, it becomes a velouté. No, sorry, it's not velouté, it's gravy. A velouté is something else. I don't remember what. Now we get the milk. Uh, something? Oh, I think I missed some messages. Hey 
Yargi. That is not a lot of flour. When you make roux, you use one to one flour and butter, and then a different proportion of milk. This is going to thicken up now. Most chefs just do it by eye, eye measurements. Am I making ice cream? No, this is bechamel. It's going to start thickening up very soon. Over here I'm boiling some fish because we're making souffle. can also get separating the eggs. I do not know what that is, sorry. Also, for the bechamel, some nutmeg. I have grated nutmeg, which is not exactly ideal. But it's what I have, so it's what I'm going to use. You only need a little pinch. It's like half a coffee spoon is enough. I do not know. I've never been to Greece. And to my knowledge, I only ever met one Greek person. So, I know Gyros. I don't know if I pronounced that correctly, I'm sorry. Oh shit, you guys are too low, hold on. A bit better, I hope. We need to get two bowls. Bechamel is, as the name suggests, French, so I think it is at least. Egg whites and this one is for the yolks. These are all freshly washed because I was making the dessert I'm making live earlier as well, so my mom can take some for herself and her friends. There's a party today. Why are you bonking? I mean, not that you can't. Hydration again, it, it's still soda, I'm sorry. Once I finish this, I'll move to water. There's gonna be alcohol? Oh man, you're gonna have fun. <laughs> Speaking of alcohol... Wait, hold on. I still have a little bit of coke. I don't get monetized anyway, so this is not this is not YouTube. This is a cooking stream. I'm allowed to have this. It's a cooking ingredient. <laughs> Woo! 
It's much less intense than what I'm used to. Now drink a shot? No, this is whiskey. You don't drink whiskey shots. Come on. Don't be a sw an uncultured swine, please. I usually drink it neat. No? You take vodka shots. You don't do whiskey shots. Come on. Oh shit, hold on. That cut got thick real fast. There we go, nice and thick with two C's. There we go, we can turn that off. The fish is probably ready as well, so I'm going to turn it off. Um. I mean, we brought some influence, um, if I recall correctly, we do have one dish, at least that comes to mind, which is uh, fricassé, and that kind of comes from Africa, but spices aside, I don't think so, because it was mostly our culture being brought over to them. That one didn't pop, so that's good. What I'm doing here is I'm just cracking the eggs into this bowl. And this is the part where you're going to separate yolks from whites. This is how I do it, because I find it easier. I honestly just scoop out the whites, sorry, the, the yolks out of the whites. God, the bin is smelling so fucking bad. The reason why I'm doing this is because you need the whites fully separate from the yolks and if by accident you get anything in the whites, you're gonna have to start over because you just ruined them. Flashback to Granos yesterday, elaborate. Which part exactly? <laughs> I mean, you can do it inconspicuously, probably. This I'm going to need just one tablespoon of. I drain the fish. Uh, 
That smells fucking great, honestly. And now I just want to mash it. If you have an actual masher, this might be a lot easier for you. I don't, so it's going to have to be a spoon. How's the music volume, guys? Doesn't have these pieces don't have to be too small by the way. I'm glad you like the music. It's um jazz live stream. I need the scraper for this one. So now we mix the bechamel with the fish that we just shredded. And we're going to mix it through together before adding it to the eggs. You can let this cool off if you want to, to prevent the eggs from cooking too fast. I mean, they will cook in the oven anyway, so it's not like it's a big deal. The sound of good pussy as always. She screw up one of the, the things. Hydration, yes. Hydrating with whiskey and cola. This one hit harder. Woo. I rinsed the glass in hopes it would be enough, but it was not. <clears throat> oh no! I mean, that's completely salvageable though. You just put them back together.
<sighs> Much better. Okay, continuing. One tablespoon of grated cheese. I like cheese, so it's two. The pinch is closed. Oh no! Did she manage to save it or not really? That part's done. Now we get to the fun part. Turn the oven on. Oops. Oh dear. Oh dear. That must have been a lot of material. I love spatulas, and this is why. We are going to have to do dishes in the middle. I'm just saying, because I need these bowls. I don't like working with the plastic ones we have. Oh, oh god. Look, it happens sometimes, okay? Alright guys, you might want to turn down the volume for the next few moments. Or I can mute the stream. Because this gets loud. to me. Uh, hold on. Oh, never mind. Um, just a forewarning, this is going to happen twice today. Just so you are warned. Because I realized after deciding that I was going to make the dessert I was making, 
that both of them require egg separation one more than the other, and also they both require folding whites, so... Yep, yes we do. So here's what I like to do, a little bit at a time. Do not mix them in. You want to fold over gently. They will break, that's fine. You want to incorporate them in with the egg whites. Mix it around, go through the middle. I can see the cheese pull. That's very nice. If you can, try to keep the edge of the bowl clean, which is a feat not even I can, but someone with more experience should be able to. The reason you have to be careful with this is so the egg whites won't release all of the air we just uh, beat into them. Me being left-handed does not make the things easier for the recording. Sorry. And the oven is now preheated. I just heard the ping to break up these a little bit, just keep going, have some patience, which I usually don't, but this is a special case, so look at how much bigger that got. curl it and not mix it? Well, when I say mix, I mean grabbing the spoon and going like that. In this scenario, you are going under and over. You're folding it. You're not... You are still mixing it, but much more gentle. So you don't pop the air bubbles. What Cinder said. Also, we will probably have a guest appearance at some point because my mom has to come pick up the desserts though it's unlikely I mean you guys will hear us but she will ow, ow. it's unlikely she will appear on camera
Okay, now this is going into the oven for around 30 minutes at 200 degrees Celsius. On the fish by an engagement ring, it pronged everything. You're not a dad, you're not allowed to make those jokes. Actually, let me set up a timer for 32 minutes, and it's going. Now, here's the fun part. We have to do dishes in order for us to continue. Yay! So fun. So you're going to get some dishwashing action. Oh my fucking god. Aiden, I swear. These ones I'm just going to rinse them because they can go in the washing machine. Dishwashing simulator. Let's go. And I still have the bowls left, which are the important part here. anymore so you can go over there
They are all done. Don't forget to clean the sink. I think that's the most you guys have chatted so far. Hello Thunder, welcome back. Oh my fucking god. You two are impossible. Okay, neither, sorry, neither Aiden nor Liam have the right of dad jokes yet. I don't know if Cinder does or not, but I know you two sure as fuck don't. The prep. Oh, you innocent, you sweet summer child. He's prepping, he says. I love him. He's so cute. <sighs> You're not Prepping, that's what you're not doing. <laughs> the longer you wait, the more stripes it's gonna have. Yeah, Aiden, you should ask Maria for a pup. Wait, um, top pup, cub? Kitten, it's a kitten. Right, more eggs, fuck. Does everyone here know each other? Um, short answer, yes. <laughs> Hi, Dev. Okay, so for this one, we need nine. Oh, it's nine, yeah.
That's five. Please don't fuck this up. Oh no, oh no. Saved. We have a little bit of shell in there. When you have shell, use another shell to get it out. As you can see, it's in the corner. So we have six years, seven. Before, this is for me easier than splitting the uh, separating them by default. Sometimes it will happen like this, where a little bit of egg, sorry, white will get stuck. You can just pinch it with your fingers, curl your finger around and press your thumb in so it has nowhere to escape into. You'll be good. There are some tools for this, though I don't own any, and as such I use old-fashioned methods, and very low skill. Grannis, hi! I wasn't expecting you guys to come! I didn't separate them from the get-go because I'm traumatized by them breaking. And also, I haven't mastered the proper split yet. So, the shell keeps cracking all over the place, all the time. Actually, I'm just going to... It's a lot easier to use a small box for this than a full 24 carton. Sorry, uh, plastic. Oh man, you guys are such assholes to each other, I love it. I need the sugar. By the way, this is a family recipe. Um, and it's essentially the following. My mom does nine eggs with one soup spoon of sugar per each, sorry, tablespoon of sugar per egg, so nine, seven in the yolks, two in the whites. My grandma does all nine in the yolks, and the difference here is when you have, when you beat the egg whites, you then add the two tablespoons of sugar and they become much firmer. Like, my mom's um, mousse, you can cut with a knife and it will stay in place. Oh, you want kisses? Mwah! Mwah! So, this one is for at home, not for taking out, so I'm the one making it. 
I'm going to do the nine all in the yolks. I am going to try. You want them full, but not heaping, if it makes sense. Two. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And since we're at it, might as well. Cream of tartar also works. What for? I mean this? I forgot the lid. Uh, that's a good question, Aiden. I would wager it also works. Um. But do you take into consideration if you use one tablespoon of sugar, as in powdered versus crystallized, you're going to have more weight with the powder because there's less space between uh, sugar bits because they're smaller. So there's no air in there, if it makes sense. I'm not sure if I was clear enough. the part where we make noise again. Oh, fuck, I forgot something important. <sighs> I forgot this bit. Why is there a feather in here? I kinda need to set up a double boiler for this one. And I should have done this way earlier, because it's going to be boring as fuck. Can't listen much? Okay, that's fine. How much chocolate is in this mousse? The answer is yes. Anyone wondering, this is 400 grams total. I haven't been cooking chicken. Huh? Whose streams are you watching? Chicken in, even in the last stream either. I'm probably just missing the joke. Some people use just 400 grams. Yes, this is dark chocolate though. 70 percent, so it's enough. Feather in my pan. Oh, no. Some people add butter to this. If you have to add butter to your chocolate to be able to melt it, your chocolate is shit. I'm sorry. Let me get... There it is. This is a clothespin in wood, so it doesn't melt. 
Uh, no, Thunder, this isn't for the fish souffle. That one's in the oven already. Oh, nice. I do have the finished product of the desserts. My mom should be here. Well, she should be already here already. But you know women, never on time. Ha ha, it's a funny joke, because I'm a woman too. Huh, this one has a little bit of water in it. But as you can tell, it's firm as fuck. It's probably... I know why it is. Because when I put it into the fridge, it was still warm. I do have this little bit we made from the one we made this morning. Yeah. Oh, motherfucker. Yep, that's my mom's recipe, alright. Oh, fuck up. <laughs> yeah, that's amazing. That's pretty good. Okay, fine, squats. Um. You can make it yourself. Doesn't hurt. I I hope I have enough space. One. Two. I don't have enough. I gotta scoot back further. Hold on. Um. Is this? Hold on. Am I seriously going to do it like this? This works, yeah. One, two, three, four, <laughs> five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20. Fuck you and your redeem. I'm just kidding, thank you. <sighs> I should have gone to the gym yesterday. Um. I did just drink, I'm gonna drink again. I should have gone to the gym yesterday, but I had a massive nosebleed. And so I was scared of actually going. Because it was deadlift day, and I was like, if I go and try to do deadlift, it's just gonna pop open again. I was like, nah, I'm not feeling it, fam. It's so hot in this kitchen. Let me open the window. Oof, much better. Hardy little Spain from all the visitors. We actually have, oops, sorry. We actually have nine people. Normally I do heavy squats, not free form, so it's a little bit different. This also has a little bit too much water, so I need to... Where's the fucking mitt? Here it is. needs a little bit less water in it. Okay. 
Okay. Trying to not burn myself here. Because that would be bad. Let's get you guys closer to that chocolate melting action. Super exciting. I should have broken this up much further than I actually have, but that's on me. Oh, motherfucker. Maximum is a hundred. I need to increase the price of the squats, I think. <laughs> Some of you have way too many points. Oh god. <laughs> you guys just want to watch me squat in front of the camera. Curves, the lot of you. <clears throat> I mean, no. Oh my fucking god, love! <laughs> I am not surprised, honestly. Well, while the chocolate melts, let's get this taken care of. At this point, I might as well just be a flesh tuber, honestly. Well, I am, kind of, both. As I said, uh, Dev, max is 100. I gotta work for them thighs, though, right? Okay, listen. When I'm at the gym, I do, like, usually three sets of warm-up, which is 20, 40, and then 60. Currently, I'm at, like, 65. And then I do another three or four sets with eight reps each. So that's still a few reps. A hundred max per person? No, a hundred... Motherfucker. A hundred max total. So, per stream, you can only redeem it five times maximum. Ah, gonna make me move this again. Let me close the door. You guys just wanna look at my thighs, that's the conclusion I'm coming to. I'm sleeping on the couch, you might just be. If my mom comes home, catches me doing squats like this, I, we, you and I are gonna have a word. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. <sighs> I, I would love to do OnlyFans, but I feel like I don't have the privacy for it. I suffer of popping everything. I can't pop them anymore. This here always pops for me. Oof. Hi, Maria. 
popping joints ASMR. Now, honestly, it's actually a bit concerning because sometimes my wrists will lock up. Like, I can't move them past this until I force them into... Oh god, that's such a nice breeze. Force them forward and then it's such a relief. That's my mum. Just be right back. La mine. Okay, that was it. <laughs> Concern, yeah, a little bit. Oops. That still has a good bit of water. Let's take some more out. That's the oven. So that means I need to close the window. Give me a second. Yes, I hear you. Shut up. That is a very bad double boil set. I am sorry. Jeez. You guys verify the phone number just so you could see me. How nice. Whew. And you'll get to see live how the souffle deflates. reveal yeah it happens sometimes I'm kind of done worrying about it fuck it's already starting to sink a little bit it's looking gorgeous though it's soft all right No swearing or it might fucking collapse. Damn. Hi, Liam. Oh, you missed the face reveal again. <laughs> Not that I think you guys are missing much. Back to this. Best part, he says. Wow. Flatter me some more, won't you? It's already sunk a little bit. <sighs> this is why you break up the chocolate into smaller pieces. It's so it melts faster because more surface area. But that's almost done anyway. So, and we have chocolate on the clothing pin. That's fine. Another hydration. Okay, okay.
Sippy indeed. And while the chocolate finishes melting, um, putting it in simple terms, Cinder, we struggle with showing us, uh, with showing ourselves to ourselves. That's like the easiest way I could put it in. Like, I'm speaking from personal experience, oh, it's deflated, anyway, but speaking from personal experience, literally yesterday, I didn't shave in the morning, by the evening, I was struggling to look at myself in the mirror. And I barely have any beard left anymore, you can just ask Dev and Cirs as well. Right, back to noise. I am sorry Maria and Gran as you guys weren't here for this part earlier. sorry to hear that happened to you, but on that same note, different people face different experiences, or the same experience, in different ways. At least for me, um, body hair is something that triggers my dysphoria really hard, and not being even able to look at myself in the mirror is something that's been in place since I was like 14. I started growing a beard when I was 12. And I don't mean pubes, I mean an actual beard. Thank you, Granis. Or Maria, I don't know who's typing at the moment. this, sorry. With that comment, I know it's Maria.
What do you say, chat? Is it good? is my artist. I didn't... I'm not going to lick the whisk from egg whites. Do you know how... Oh, God. Anyway, um... She is my artist. The lady responsible for, like, 95% of my art. So, say hello. That's the name responsible for them. All, for all the pieces I have, almost. She's very good, very talented, and she's amazing to work with, so 100% go to her website and commission her. It's like card... C-I-C-A-R-R-D dot dev arts? Something like that. You can plug it into chat if you want. You have my permission. Let me chill harder, she's my friend for the last eight, seven years. Thank you. Oh, for fuck's sake, I'm not done. It's been- yes, it has! Like, we've known each other for a little bit longer than seven years, but seven years is the first uh, piece of art that I got from you. Can you drop your mixtape? No! Not without me listening to it first so I can give it approval. How's this looking? Melt molten, that's for sure. I'm not gonna do that. Oh, we met... Cinder and I met in Belle Grace's server. Um, Belle is also another trans girl like myself. And she does VTubing. You can find her at... Uh, Belle... Sorry, Belle Grace TV, I think. Or VT for VTuber. Aww. Just make sure you have references. Belle is a very good bean. I love her so much. I have also known Belle for fucking years. I think... Um, it's been less years than I've known Dev for, but it's still since before I went to university. So it's been like five, six years at least. Very long time. Yeah, read her to us. She will know. Not even I am mean to to us. Ah, oh, thank you, love. Oh fuck, my voice is breaking. <laughs> It's only been an hour 30, but I guess I haven't shut up yet. I mean, uh, actually no. I think the most popular Twitch streamers are actually Flesh uh, streamers. They're not VTubers. It's like XQC and other stupid names. I actually can. Ah, oh, I made a mess. Let's fucking dunk it. I 
I don't know. Oh, I found the spatula. Now, this bit you want to be kind of fast because otherwise the chocolate will cook your eggs and you don't want that. If you can't tell, I haven't moved the speed, but it's gotten slower. Fucking hell, that's thick as shit. And I should not have put the spatula in water, but it is fine. I need a plate. be funny for the walls mood. Um, as for the beard, if it doesn't look good, if you think it doesn't look good groomed, uh, my only suggestion is shaving it, honestly. You might be surprised. Try a different style, maybe. She did? I didn't know Maria used to stream. Well, that's cool though. No, no, you fucking don't. Okay, so this is where my mom says this is workable. I say no. So we're adding milk. Flash as you need, it's okay. Oh, you didn't have to add milk, she said. My ass. with this recipe that I don't like is how the chocolate gets fucking everywhere. Okay, now, if you told me to lick the whisk now, I would 100% like, agree with it. Chat has flown by so fast, I don't know what's going on anymore, I'm sorry.
when she asks how good the Sun game is. I'm not gonna do this on camera for fuck's sake. I'm saving this one for later. I think the most expensive part about this is honestly the eggs. Um, to dogs maybe, but I'm not a dog. You'll have to fight me for it, Liam. You can fight me or you can fight Lucy, whichever. You know, this is a funny thing. Liam can prob- sorry, Lucy can probably lift Liam. And that's an hilarious, th an hilarious thought. He would. He would lose. I'm sorry. I'm not coming out of this with clean fingers, so whatever. Again, fold in carefully so you don't break it. At least not too much. Now this one is going to take considerably longer, and you don't want to leave any white specks. The upside, however, is the longer you work it, the more whites you add in, <clears throat> the easier it becomes, honestly. It's starting to split. Shame. I was hoping to see Heather or Marty, but I guess they couldn't make it. Also, you guys should totally sub. Like, totally. If you can, of course. We am going to race a grand grandis in a bicycle. Goodness me. Doing this twice in the same day is kind of hard on the arms.
Make sure you're going to the bottom. Last thing you want is bits of chocolate at the bottom that haven't been mixed in. Okay, that's done. Now I need to get on a stool to fetch the bowl. It levels. <laughs> I I don't consider myself a very good cook. I I I'd say I'm okay, but I'm not good. Still missing too many basics. I just can't stay here for now. This is the part you can most definitely get a lick in. Motherfucker, that springs. <laughs> It's like Nutella, but way better. fire once, it lasted for a whole one second, but as for spillage, no major spillages, no. At least not yet. Don't jinx me. almost went very wrong. Thankfully, it cooled down enough to where I did not burn my hands. If this souffle was still hot enough, I would have burned my hands very badly. <laughs> now, you can't really pump a souffle back up. So, it's the Duh! That's just what it happens. It's very sad, I know, 
but It's soft, for sure, I can tell you that much. Aren't we all souffles? No! My mouth probably sweetened because of the, the zip. Hold on. Let me really close the window. Okay, the air current was getting distracting. God damn. That's amazing. That's that skills. That's very nice. As for the mousse, well... This one is going into the fridge. That's Cinder. Come on. Normally, most people would drop it, is what I think they're going for. But yeah, we still have this fucking rock. It's really nice, though. Because it melts in your mouth as it warms up. God, it's so good. So yeah, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, motherfucker. Ugh. I hate you. No, no this way. Gotta get those calories off? <laughs> no comments. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. <laughs> Thighs aren't too bad. They're certainly bigger than when I started working out. I don't have much ass yet, but I also don't want to get banned off Twitch. Thank you very much. Like hell I do. No way. Oof. I honestly find that hard to believe, Dev. Okay. Does anyone have any questions, suggestions, or things they want to say? Also, hi, Lydia. She's probably not commenting still. Can you- what? Huh? Oh. Here's the thing. I might have 
Sam? <laughs> Throw the chocolate into the souffle. No! I am getting some hips. Oh, fuck. I'm, I'm covered in chocolate. But yeah, I'm getting some hips. Some hips and some tits as well. Which is very nice. It's like, I look in the mirror and like, oh no, hair, and then a second later, yes, titties! <laughs> <sighs> this is like showing gym games. Don't ban me, Twitch. <sighs> okay, so, if there are no questions, or suggestions, or things to say, we're going to end stream. Thank you, Aiden. And we're going to raid who? Parting is such a sweet sorrow. Well, here's the thing. If my grandma is well enough that she no longer needs my help um, during the week, I will be able to resume my daily streams, which is my hope. Um, so let's find someone to... Girl the M is raiding, so here we go. Thank you very much, everyone. Love you all. Mwah. Be safe, and I'll see you next Saturday at least. <laughs>